Hello everyone and welcome to Instant Biology by Dr. Neelab. The topic of today's lecture is uh, the colleges, the important colleges. Basically, I would be dealing with IITs and the courses that they offer in biotechnology and allied sciences. So, IITs offering postgraduate courses in biotech or allied subjects okay so in this uh, uh, lecture in this lecture series basically this would be a lecture series depending upon uh, your response towards this i would be talking about multiple iits in today's lecture what i have chosen is i have, I have chosen five iits the top five IITs I have chosen and I would be talking about the courses, the postgraduate courses that these IITs offer in the field of uh, biotechnology and allied disciplines. So let us first of all talk about IIT Kharagpur. So this is, is the information about IIT Kharagpur. Okay. So let us see what courses IIT Kharagpur offers. So over here you can see that this is the uh, mtech programs this is the list of mtech programs that uh, is offered by iit kharagpur so i have made it simple that uh, actually choosing of the choice of the course and choice of the college requires a lot of time so that effort i am putting in so as to uh, provide you some uh, relaxation in choosing the colleges of interest and uh, courses of interest so let us see in case of iit kharagpur what options do you have let us choose that let us see that so over here agriculture biotechnology is one of the options that can be chosen up by students of biotechnology and a student of uh, this uh, life science so you can see over here bt and life science okay so agriculture biotechnology you can opt for and also there is another course that you can join in over here is that is biotechnology and biochemical engineering so there is an mtech course in this also biotechnology and biochemical engineering over here you, you over here also you can uh, the bt students and the excel students can fill up the form so uh, this is the important uh, uh, thing about uh, iit kharagpur let me just uh, quickly again mention agriculture biotechnology is one of the fields and uh, biotechnology and biochemical engineering is the other field so whenever the notification of iit kharagpur comes you can fill in these two uh, uh, for you can apply for these two courses and this would be through gate you can see over here okay so uh, this was about iit kharagpur let us move on to the next course let us move on to the next iit and the next iit over here is the iit delhi okay so iit delhi offers multiple courses but those are uh, basically on the level of btech and phd so in the field of uh, or when we are talking about postgraduate courses there is only ms by research that means this course the third number course master of science or ms research in biochemical engineering and biotechnology this is offered by iit delhi okay so this is the course that you should opt for just let me just yeah so this is the course that is offered by iit delhi apart from this you can see that there are other courses also they offer btech courses also but you guys are uh, appearing or you guys are in btech so this is uh, not a good choice for you apart from this they also offer dual degree programs that means btech plus mtech so that was also not a good option for you you can directly apply for master ms by research over here this this uh, is a probable option for you or apart from that there is a phd program also so if you like the mtech program over there you can uh, pursue phd also from uh, iit delhi so this was the information about iit delhi okay this is iit delhi this is the second iit that i'm talking about the first one was iit kharagpur this one was iit kharagpur okay okay so now let us talk about the next iit the next iit in our list is iit madras and another very very fine very good uh, iit when we are talking about biotechnology or allied subjects so over here if you go to the postgraduate programs then 
there is an option of mtech in bioprocess engineering there is an option of mtech in bioprocess engineering these are the eligibility criteria if you are btech in biotechnology chemical engineering industrial biotechnology or biochemical engineering or biological engineering with gate score in bt uh, and chemical engineering you can uh, apply for this apart from this if you are also having uh, life science excel gate score then also you can apply the students intake is 15 per year so this is a good option first course is this mtech in bioprocess engineering this uh, would take admissions through gate and there is another course over here that is ms by research in biotechnology so this is also an option ms by research in biotechnology offered by iit madras okay so and also there is a phd in biotechnology if you like the course over here you can directly pursue your phd from this uh, uh institute only so these are the eligibility criteria if you are uh, if you want to enter into this this is the eligibility criteria so you can have a btech also uh, cgpa above 8.0 and uh, you should have a gate scorecard apart from this the masters degree for this is actually the phd uh, this uh, the eligibility over here that is mentioned is of phd and ms by research so these are the eligibility criteria you can uh, look for your eligibility criteria over here and you can apply when the notification comes from iit madras okay now let us move forward to the uh, next iit the next iit over here is the third one the first one was remember iit kharagpur second one was iit madras the third one is iit kanpur okay so remember this is not according to the uh, the position that an iit holds in the university rankings no this is just random i have chosen this uh, the sequence as random please do not think that i am quoting iits on the basis of their rankings no that's not the case so uh, biological sciences and bioengineering department of iit kanpur is providing an mtech program over here and the degree that you would be getting would be of biological sciences and bioengineering so mtech biological sciences and bioengineering so mtech biological sciences and bioengineering this is the degree that you would be getting on the name of the department only so one course only is offered at uh, the mtech level so you can directly apply for that in iit kanpur okay apart from that this also department also offers a phd program so if you like the course there if you like uh, the professors there if you like the environment you can definitely opt for phd program also so this was about iit kanpur this is the uh, third college in our list let us move forward to the next iit let us move forward to the next iit and this iit is uh, iit bombay okay so this iit is iit bombay and uh, this iit basically is offering mtech program in biomedical engineering okay biomedical engineering so iit bombay is offering a mtech program in biomedical engineering apart from this msc biotechnology program is also offered this is also a post graduate program this can also be taken up but mtech biomedical engineering is the main program that you would get into through gate examinations and uh, msc would be through iit jam and other other such examinations okay so this was about uh, iit uh, bombay so just a quick uh, refresher so first second and uh, this iit madras was the third one and uh, this uh, sorry this iit kanpur was the fourth one and uh, iit bombay was the fifth one so these are the five iits first of all we discussed iit kharagpur in iit kharagpur i said you, there are two programs that you can apply for agriculture biotechnology and biotechnology and biochemical engineering the second one iit delhi you can apply for ms research in biochemical engineering and biotechnology in iit madras you can go for mtech in bioprocess engineering and ms by research in biotechnology then in uh, iit kanpur you can opt for mtech in biological sciences and bioengineering there is an mtech program and then finally uh, iit bombay you can opt for mtech in biomedical engineering program so depending upon your uh, choice depending upon the course that you like depending upon the iit that you like and depending upon the scorecard that you have the rank that you have 
you can opt for different IITs okay so this is a lecture series remember I would be waiting for your res responses on this lecture and if you like this I would definitely make the second part of this uh, series thank you so much if you like this lecture please uh, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel have a good day thank you so much